Hello and welcome, my name is Radu and this is a special review. It's special for two reasons. First of all, this is my first review in English. So bear with me because I'm sure my English will improve over the next two or three months, at least. And second of all, this is a very special laptop. This is the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo. And trust me, this is a powerhouse, this is a monster and it has a few gimmicks that you might like. So this is not a full review, this is just my first impressions because we have these laptops for about 4 or 5 hours and I'm kind of starting to make an impression of it. We are going to follow up this video with a full review. So let's check it out. First of all what you see is a very simple design. This is the design Asus used for most of the ZenBook lineup. So basically it's brushed aluminium on the, on the lid and a few parts of metal and plastic. On this side you have uh, a few pieces of uh, polycarbonate, actually it looks like leather, it has a texture on it and uh, a few parts of metal. This is the lid and I'm curious what's inside but this being a sample I cannot open it, not right now. So what's special with this laptop, it has two screens, two giant screens inside totaling almost 6 million pixels. So it's basically a 6K display. When you open it, the first thing you, you notice is a keyboard. It's on the bottom left of the, lap of the laptop and you have a very small touchpad on the right. When you open the laptop, it's gonna take a few seconds. As I've told you, this is a very powerful beast. It actually ran out of battery while we were uh, filming some, some illustration with it. And this is it came with this password but come on look at this just look at this this beautiful screen so this laptop is meant for productivity first of all it's meant for those users who need a lot of power and a lot of display real estate so basically you won't need a second monitor with this one this is a 4k display it's an OLED display and yes it's a touch screen well, it has windows, but it's still a touch screen. And the second screen, it's almost 4K, it's 3840 by 1100 pixels, so basically half a 4K. Maybe if they ditch the keyboard, you will have a full 4K display. And I'm thinking about next year, I think Asus is going to launch a laptop with dual display. And this is not OLED, this is not an OLED screen, because OLED requires uh, a clear panel. So if you put a clear panel on the inside, you you're going to have a lot of reflection. This is an IPS panel and it's color graded. It's actually DCI-P3 100%, so it will show you the perfect color that you need for, let's say, edi editing photos or uh, editing videos. This is not the first laptop of this kind, because we all know there's a Zephyrus lineup, a gaming laptop that's a little bit thinner and it has the keyboard on, uh, on this side. And uh, one little more thing to mention, this is a sample unit, so it doesn't come with all the accessories, it only comes with a power brick, which actually is huge, I mean, let me show it right here. This is a 230 watts power brick. As I understood, it also has fast charging, so it's going to charge the battery. It's going, uh, it's sitting here for about, let's say 10 minutes, it, and it was completely drained. So now, now it has 21%. So back to the displays. What can you use this display for? Well, basically anything because it's a secondary display. You can drag and drop every window that you like right here, just like this. It's that simple. So basically right now I can watch my colleague Codrine's video and take some notes on it. Like, just like this. And it's as easy as it looks. The first thing I noticed writing on this screen is that the fact that you always have to, to move your eyes to the display while you're writing. You cannot just sit and look at the keyboard. You have to see if you made some mistakes. This is actually 
really easy to type on because your eyes look down there. Of course, you're going to run into some back pain if you're not careful, but let's just say technology is worth it. So to make things easier, because Windows is not an operating system designed for use on two dual monitors that both are touch screens, ASUS has designed um, some sort of, let's say, setting. It, this, this, is, this display is called actually a screen pad. So this is the screen pad helper, if you might say. So basically you have a lot of settings right here. Uh, as you can see, this is also a touchpad, which is actually great. So using this shortcut, I can set up a few layouts. I can, let's just say, if you're using uh, Premiere Pro, you can basically set your windows just like you wanted and save it under one of these layouts. Uh, if you're typing like me, if you're writing some text and watching a video, you can do that as well. So basically, this is how Premiere Pro looks like when you have the timeline up here. Media browser right here, you have the effects settings, so you can actually, can you drag and drop? No, I cannot drag and drop. That would have been useful if I could like make swipe up from here. So the reason why I'm showing you Premiere Pro on this laptop is because it has a very powerful CPU. It's a Core i9. 9980HK. That's a full power CPU and besides that 32 gigabytes of DDR4, an Nvidia GeForce RTX 2060 with 6 gigabytes of RAM and the fastest SSD you can buy. This one has a one terabyte model. So basically you can buy this laptop right now uh, but there are several configurations. It starts with a Core i7 CPU goes up to a, a Core i9 CPU, so basically you have two CPUs. It starts with eight gigabytes of RAM. I wouldn't recommend that. Come on, eight, it's too low. You might opt for 16, and I think it has one or two swappable DIMMs inside, and it starts with um, 256 SSD. I think you could swap it, and if I look inside, maybe I will find another slot so you can add another SSD. So after playing with it for a little while, I actually like it. At first I was, let's say, biased. I, I was thinking, why do I need a second screen? I can attach a second monitor to it. But I think this makes things a little easier. It's a gimmick. It's a very good one. And I really appreciate that Asus is going this way. So would I use this? That's a definitely yes. It's a very powerful machine and let's face it, when you open this up in front of your friends, come on, you're gonna be a star. The smartphone doesn't even count anymore. This laptop is one of the most powerful and sexiest and special laptops that I have ever seen in my life. Yes, I would use it. Would I buy it right now? Probably not. I would wait for another few weeks to see if anyone who uses this laptop to watch some other reviews to see if, it, if it's actually worth the money, because it's not cheap. The base version of this laptop with a Core i7, eight gigabytes of RAM, and the smallest SSD possible starts from around $3,000. That's almost 3,000 euros if you, if you live in Europe. The fully spec model goes about to $5,000, and that's just because of the CPU. But would you need so much power? I think you do. Because, let's face it, you have a 6K display. If you want to game on this thing, it's going to be tough. With a 2060, with the RTX 2060, you're going to be at the, let's say, the lower limit of playable games. You might get about 40 to 50 FPS per second, but that's pretty much it. You have to set the game to 1080p if you want a playable experience of this laptop. For media playback, yes, this is the absolute powerhouse. You can watch every movie you want in 4K and the experience would be wonderful. But for productivity, that's a yes again, because I really like the second display. I'm pretty sure I can set it up just the way I want it. And that's pretty much it. There are two things missing from the box. Actually, we don't have a box, but in the retail version, you're going to have a wrist pad so you can sit your palms right here while you type. And the second one is a pen. I think the pen is going to be more useful in using both of the screens 
because Windows is not optimized for touchscreen and especially not optimized for dual touchscreens. So I think I'm going to wait for the final version to arrive and see in a month or so if I get used to it. On the coolie side you have two fan outtakes over here so basically the, the, the laptop draws air from beneath from this side over here and from this part. The one thing that probably would bother me is the exhaust. It's one on the left and one on the right. So basically hot air is going to come up from both of these sides. So while you're sitting with a mouse like this, you're gonna feel a little hot. On the port side, we have pretty much all we need. We have an, uh, a barrel plug from the, for, the, for the AC. We have an HDMI port. We have an USB 3 port. This is the, sec the, the left uh, fan outtake. And on the other side, we have a Thunderbolt 3 port, so you can connect another two 4K monitors if you want. Maybe a more powerful display card. And oh, this is a headphone jack. Mm, nice. This is the secondary uh, airflow output, and this is another USB 3. Pretty light on ports, but basically you don't need them so much, because you have everything you need inside. So these are my first impressions of the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo. What do you think about it? How would you use it? I'm thinking about gaming, I'm thinking about Adobe Premiere Pro, maybe Photoshop, and a little bit of video consumption. So that's it for today, hope to see you next time. Like, share, subscribe, support this channel because our English is going to get a lot better.